the sport of mountain biking and snowboarding were both sort of running a parallel as far as what individuals were willing and capable of doing. There wasn't a clear edge of what was too fast or too far. I was at the top of my game. I was a young kid and then one day I found the edge and that was the day that I broke my back. My name's Christian Bag. I'm a mechanical designer. If I don't build it, no one else will. Now I'm paralyzed and I quickly recognized that I was going to be 100% dependent on technology. Initially, I just really wanted to get back to the things that I loved and the figuring out of how to keep up and be that pioneer that you were part of in these past sports. I had tried making sort of off-road mountain bikes, like adaptive mountain bikes for a while, but none of them did what I wanted them to do. And it was actually cross-country sit skiing that sort of led me to take this ski that I've developed that will accommodate side slopes, flip it upside down, put it on that bike, and what I created was the bowhead reach. The reach evolved from this thing with a cross-country ski bolted to the front of it to this super professional three-wheeled electric motor articulation, best bike parts on the planet, we made a mountain bike. The reach was never intended to be for anyone else. Now people come to us after years of not being able to go into nature. Watching someone get to go hiking with their kids for the first time in a decade is pretty impactful. Chad, for example, that just got his bike yesterday, he's never gone to the mountains and now all of a sudden, he gets to be at the ridge top at Fortress Mountain, burning around like a maniac. The places we all went today, I couldn't have accessed them in a wheelchair, so it just opens up different opportunities that I can go and see different stuff that I never had the chance to before. And I had just a blast. That's what he was after. You could see it in his face. You're sitting at a ridge and feeling that heart pumping feeling, and you get to have these moments in nature that I had when I was a kid. And it's, it's unbelievable. Wouldn't trade it for the world.